Hello everybody, I wanted to make another video on this McCune and Hart situation because now Tervesta is on spotlight because people found out that Tervesta took a 10 bill loan because he has a video which is called I'm poor so I took a 10 bill loan and he's actually trading McCune. Yes, like an actual, the same guy. Now this video was uploaded eight months ago, so it was definitely before all the allegations came into light. Now there's also a show called Gillenor Games by Soup. It's like famous YouTubers join in together and compete. It's like a fun times, you know, it has a lot of views. It's, it's, it's entertaining to watch. And during one of the Gillenor Games episode, Tervesta was using McCune's account. Like actual McCune, not, not an alt or something. Yes, he McCune just gave the password to Tervesta and he logged in. And I, I don't know, maybe he didn't have a Max account or something. I'm not sure why he had to do that, but uh, he did. And it's no problem because it's okay. The thing is that no one is hiding that Tervesta took the 10 bill loan. It's right there in the public. And no one is hiding that Tervesta used uh, McCune's account on the Gillenor games. It's not like it was a secret and he tried to hide it or something like that. It was right there. He said, yeah, yeah, I did use it. It's, you know, because well, people share accounts. Okay, so Soup says he wasn't on Gilnor Games, meaning McCune was not on it. His account was being used by someone on the show. So I assume Tervesta was using the account. Just to hop in and clear up that the entirety of Gilnor Games was filmed before Hanani's video about McCune came out. So when Tervesta was using McCune's account, Nobody knew that he was doing such things. When he took that uh, 10 bill loan, he didn't know that uh, McCune was doing all that stuff. And you can clearly tell because the video was uploaded eight months ago, while Hanani's video was uploaded six months ago. So it's, it's not only plausible, but it's literally most likely that's what happened. He just didn't know. The thing is that Gillenor Games like has this heavy editing, like they're long episodes and uh, whenever Soup records them, it takes him I'm assuming months to like edit everything, you know, just he's probably being chilling. He doesn't edit all day, but like it takes long time until the episodes are ready. So he says we filmed from March until middle of July and a video came out at the end of July. I spent a lot of time blurring his name whenever possible and even had to rearrange footage entirely to not show any of the right clicks on his name or mouse hovers that will show his name in the top left of the screen. Unfortunately, there are some brief moments where it does show, which I do apologize for missing. So the way I see it, Torvesta is just being chilling, you know, just normal day, he got the maxed account to play on Gildenor games. He doesn't know anything about McCune and uh, what he did, I'm assuming. So they record the Gildenor games episode and then immediately like a month later or like was it half a month later, they found out like, oh my God, Torvesta, that guy, McCune, that you use the accounts on, he's like a very nasty guy. Did you see Hanani's video? Hanani like exposed him and all that. So now Soup suddenly has to edit so much to hide all the right clicks. You know, when you cast like Ice Barrage, you like hover over the person. Not only do you see it in the middle of the screen, his name, but also at the very top uh, of, of RuneScape. So it's easy to miss like a couple frames somewhere. And he did, Soup did miss a couple frames of McCune. It's not like they try to hide it, like, oh, let's hide that uh, he's using a McCune account as in the evil intents. It was more like, we don't want to associate with McCune, so let's just blur his name completely. And as far as I can tell, Torvesta completely disassociated with him since long time ago, since like six months ago. Well, since Hanani's video was released, not since today or yesterday when I uploaded my video. So as far as I can tell, Torvesta, Soup, and just pretty much all those top YouTubers have disassociated with McCune as soon as Hanani uploaded a video six months ago. Now let's imagine a little different situation. Imagine that it was Tervesta who uploaded that video exposing McCune and Hard instead of me. And you know, everyone's like, oh my God, you know, Hard is a bad person, McCune is a bad person, like, wow, thanks for exposing. And then one of my viewers notices that I had hard added. Because did you know that I had hard added since like five, six months ago? I just had him added, we never talked, I, I never traded him, never got any loans, I never added him on Discord, I was never in any channels. But I did have hard added since like five, six months ago. So now imagine one of my viewers says like, hold up, Torvesta exposed two of these guys. Did you know that a friend had 
hard added since like five months ago. Then you have to wake up to comments like these. Minus one subscriber and watcher of every video following hearing you and McCune are friends. I was hard with friends too. That's the thing. I, I was friends with hard, but I just didn't know what he did. I, I thought, oh, that's a cool name. That's a short name. Let me add him because he said something and we just added each other. So now I want you to imagine even another situation. Imagine that I added hard five months ago, which I did. And imagine if we, because we didn't speak, but imagine if we did. And he's like, yo, you want a 10 bill loan? I would be like, man, I could clickbait a video very nicely. You know, clickbait, but actually deliver it to actually getting the 10 bill loan. It's a good video. Probably is going to get a lot of views like it did on Torvesta's video. It's got like half a million views. And then you wake up the next morning after, let's say, Torvesta uploaded that exposing video instead of me. And I'm like, dude, what? I didn't even do anything. I'm just being chilling, just doing my own thing. Yeah, somebody gave me a 10 bill loan. Yes, yeah, somebody like it just it's easy to not know stuff. I'm going to tell you another hypothetical situation that could easily happen to me. I think like five months ago, I made a video of me trying to get the infernal cape. I never got it, but I did get to Zuck a bunch of times. I was using crystal armor and bow of Ferdinand because I didn't have a twisted bow. After I uploaded a video, I had a few friends who said like, yo, uh, I can lend you an Ellie. I can lend you a twister bow if you want. It's going to be much easier. And I think you would actually get the infernal cape if you use a twisted bow because you actually got to the healers, you get to Zuck, you, you know, like you actually got to the very end. You just need a little bit of push maybe. Now imagine I say like, oh yeah, sure, that sounds good. Yeah, I'm just going to loan the uh, twisted bow. I'm going to get infernal cape and I'll have more strength bonus. And you know, sometimes it was very tempting. It was like, man, it was so close. If I only had a twisted bow. Now imagine I do take that twisted bow. I show it in a video and I say, hey, uh, thanks to this friend, uh, he gave me a twisted bow. Now imagine this friend suddenly gets accused of something heinous, but you didn't know anything, bro. I just, I just, dude, I just took a twisted bow of some guy. Even if it could have been your friend for like 10 years, you just don't know what they're doing behind the scenes, you know? Just because I'm friends with somebody doesn't mean I know what's happening in their private life. It's just a guy who said, yo, you want 10 bill loan? And Torvesta said, yes. Oh, you want max account? Torvesta said, yes. Maybe that's all it was. You know how many people I have added that I never talked to? And some guy just three years later says, oh, hey, do you want a twisted bow? Like, no, no, that, that, the same thing happened with the site of Vitter when it was released. Some guy that I haven't talked for years, he just pops up. I still had him added. He's like, yo, you want site of Vitter? I accepted it. I tested it, made a video, and I gave it back. Now, imagine that guy gets accused of something. And, oh, my God, I wake up in the morning, and I see these threads, like minus one subscriber and watcher, and with eight likes, you know. And it's like, dude, I don't. Just because I accepted something doesn't mean I was involved in it. Just give benefit of a doubt for Torvesta. Unless something actually comes out, please, yes, please do shine some light on it. If you find something, please. But as far as I can tell, just because Torvesta traded McCune and got the 10 bill loan doesn't mean anything. I could get a 10 bill loan from someone tomorrow and then six months later we find out that it's a bad guy and suddenly I have to wake up to comments like these and it's like, oh my God, do I, like, how do you even explain yourself? You can, ex like, look, even Torvesta explained himself and like, you know, don't jump to conclusions. I use his account for videos and Gilnor games before Hanani's video. That's very important. It was all before. Once he got exposed, I assume he just cut all ties with him. Of course, I have no association with someone like that. I think this is a really great comment. Everyone who's hating on Torvesta is an idiot. I bet half of you have known someone who turned out to be an other piece of... But that doesn't mean that you support them being a piece of... Now, if Torvesta was sitting here backing McCune up, that's a different story. But he's not. Quit trying to cancel people for the sake of getting someone canceled. That's what I mean. He's, he's not defending McCune. He disassociated long time ago, exactly six months ago when all the allegations came out uh, in light. So what else could have Torvesta done? Like, like, is, just imagine his shoes now. He has to wake up. Has a big fan base. All it take, even imagine, even it takes ten percent of the fan base to start like being sus on Torvesta and uh, you know like uh, calling him out and stuff. It's just such a taxing, maybe even demotivating thing. You know, you're gonna upload a nice video and then suddenly you have to deal with some 
weirdos just commenting some stuff that ugh, it just never happened. And all these jokes like official and friending anyone who has viewed a Travessa's video cannot be associated with scum. I'm blocking you for previously being friends with those who watch Travesta who use McCune's account. Literal blocking both of you for mentioning his name. You see, it, it's jokes, but it's just silly. Just because somebody was friends with somebody, it doesn't mean... I have many friends. I don't know what happens behind the scenes. Bro, this goes really deep. Blocked for mentioning Torvesta in a comment. Blocking for being in a thread about them. <laughs> blocking myself for reading about this. <laughs> blocking everyone because they might know about this. <laughs> I've just lost the game. <laughs> Why would he use McCoon's account anyway? Torvesta probably doesn't have a maxed account. That's, a, you know, I don't know. Does he? Actually, I don't know. Neither does McCune anymore. <laughs> That's a good one. Look, Torvesta even tweeted about this, you know, like he did nothing wrong. And even Hanani responded like, hey, you good, man. That's it. Because nothing happened. Like, what happened? Nothing happened. Torvesta accepted 10 bill from McCune and used his account. So what? Okay, I'm going to read one last comment. I scrolled down a little bit where it has like less upvotes and stuff. Just wanted to see like different opinions of people, not just read the top comments. This guy says, of course, I also share my account and password with randoms of the internet. They also lend me stacks of 10 bill while they scam everyone. Makes complete sense. He said all of this ironically, but... That's what it is. Yes, the content creators get accounts all the time. Like, have you ever watched Oda Block? All he has to do, like, yo, somebody has an account of like a, a pure level one defense pure. Yes, somebody will give an account just like that. So yes, of course, it's that easy for content creators. You just ask and they get, especially if you're streaming live, then it's like even easier. And yes, they also lend 10 billion because you're a content creator, because most likely you're not gonna scam and maybe you're a fan of them and it's just, oh yeah. But. Obviously 10 bill is an insane amount of money, but also Tervesta is like one of the most subscribed RuneScape channels. So yes, this does make complete sense that sucks hat. Yep, I know you typed this ironically, but it, actually makes sense. Please don't hate on Tervesta.